first draft script of the arrival contained no references to the enigmatic symbols for which the series was to become notorious. Property buyer Sidney Palmer remembers the importance of finding an immediately recognisable image which would be instantly connected with the prisoner. We were looking for um, an emblem, you know, um, something that, you know, once you saw it, you said, ah, the prisoner. And we'd come up with several ideas, and Jack Champagne, who's a brilliant artist, brilliant artist, old Jack, he had um, a show packed, you know, several ideas, and all acceptable, but, you know, nothing was actually what Pat wanted, it was difficult to get from Pat, you know, what he was looking for. He kept saying, it, it's got to be something special, something different. And he was out one weekend, and he saw a penny farthing. And it struck him as being right, as being different. And he came in on the Monday, he said, get a penny farthing. Okay, so we've got a penny farthing. And from then on, it became emblem. You know, this, uh, when you saw the penny farthing, it was the prisoner. Yeah. Uh, he had a lot of ideas, which uh, he never explained. So you took them on face value. Um, I mean, it's symbolic of something. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of symbolism in it. And, uh, uh, Patrick's a very sort of. Uh, secretive man in many ways so he'd sort of come up with his weird wonderful ideas and uh, would never explain them so you just had to sort of work them into the context of the stories you know although a penny farthing bicycle was considered to be a suitably weird if not wonderful machine it still needed a certain extra something to make it into a unique logo that would represent the series now if you remember um, the canopy was also used on other things. I mean, I mean the mini boats and on the apartments that they lived in. You had little canopies outside those. It was used quite extensively. Um, this was when you're designing a picture. When you're on, on pre-production, um, you go step by step and you show something. You know, to your producer, a producer director, and you show this is the penny farthing. That's and that's the sketch. That's how we're going to use it. Can we make it a little bit different? This is Pat we're talking to. Is there anything we can do? Um, and by talking amongst yourselves, um, producer, art department, um, draftsman, all in, all in. They came up with the idea for, for canopies. They came up with lots of ideas, you know, but, but, but canopy was the idea that uh, was taken. And from then, like the balloons, it grew. You know, you, you do a set and you say, right, good chance to put a canopy out there. Again, it's, it's part of our trademark. Um, on the mini -modes, let's have canopies on them. Now that the basic format of the series had been established in the first story, other writers could be called in and could use the pilot script as a guide. The Prisoner's story editor, George Markstein, called in several script writers to work on the first batch of episodes. These included Gerald Kelsey, Vincent Tilsley and Anthony Skeen, who had originally been asked to write for the ill-fated Last Danger Man season.